This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night ten. Kentucky back in 1942 as Cassius Clay. Here is Muhammad Ali, no denying the hands. He says he's worked pretty hard on his takedown defense coming into the UFC team. Well, he's going to have to. He's the greatest boxer of all time. But it won't be just boxing that will allow for him to find success inside the UFC. But if you know Cassius Clay, if you know Muhammad Ali, you know he's the most fearless competitor that you can find. He's a tremendous boxer. Now it's time to see what he can do inside the UFC's octagon. And he's got a lot of size, he's got a lot of length. People really enjoyed the visual on the scale here on Friday. Muhammad Ali taking his greatness to the octagon here tonight. We'll see how it goes. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. He is ready to go, so are we, for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee tonight. All right, here we go with round one. And what do you do as a UFC heavyweight if you are facing Muhammad Ali? It's simplistic to suggest that you can just shoot at his legs, right? It's not as though he hasn't been working on his wrestling and training. But you know what leads the dance for Muhammad Ali? Being right on his feet, moving well laterally, working off of that jab. Just an absolute treat to have Muhammad Ali on the proven ground. Nice combination lands to the head. in the engagement there. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Great punch, Lynn, with so much power. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. 
Queen with the right hook. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Trying to establish that jab once again. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after the last shot. Muhammad Ali gets caught by the straight punch. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Oh, big right hook, but a whip. Reach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. All right, well, that blow is fastening from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, you know, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Missed with that attempt. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. 90 seconds to go. Right on the button. And yet another hook landed there by Ali. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That's good defense to get that ball up. exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. for him that'll keep him in the fight knocked down near the end of the round saved by the bell ladies and gentlemen get some water let's recompose here you're fine you've been clipped before it's okay so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through dc here's your highlight it was straight he threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent lesser men would have been done He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Huge elbow gets through for him now. Big ground and pound. Relentless pressure from the top by Ali. Back to his feet. Great shot blocked by that opponent. 
Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. You need to fight down. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard, and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Good work from the top here by Ali. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels oh, He's in trouble. He's getting it up. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. The swelling is starting to show. Oh, my goodness. Take a bow, young man. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.